guys and two bearing uh, we are given points a b and c and the bearing of b from a is given as 65 or the angle between the north pole the magnetic north and the line that connects a and b is 65 degrees and the line that connects a and c from the magnetic north is 25 degrees and clockwise now i want to express this bearing uh, using a uh, canvas bearing canvas bearing the bearing of a uh, b from a can be expressed as north we know that this north this east this is west this south uh, this is north 65 degrees east now the bearing of b from a using a three figure bearing using a three figure bearing it's equals to 0 65 degrees there are three figures not the zero uh, makes the bearing a three figure now the bearing of c from a is equals to north 25 degrees west is a canvas bearing now in three figure bearing we measure from the north pole right round which is 360 minus 25 which is 335 degrees so you can note the different day that a uh, canvas bearing measures uh, the bearing from the north or the south towards the west or the east and expresses the degrees between the line that connects the points and the north or the south as its bearing. In three figure bearing we measure from north strictly from the north and not from any other direction. Now let's look at the concept of angles. We know that parallel lines forms alternate alternate angles therefore it means uh, let's say this is point A, this is point B. It means uh, there is a formation of set angles or alternate angles when there are two parallel lines, then a straight line crosses them. Therefore, this angle is also 65 degrees. And since this is a straight line, this is 115 degrees. This is also 115 degrees so from the concept of of from the concept of angles we know that this is also 115 degrees this is also 65 degrees this is also 115 degrees this is also 65 degrees so and uh, we must always look out for alternate angles when dealing with uh, for example, the example shows us the point T, P, R, P, R, and T are on a level ground, and T, R, this is T, R, is 4 centimeters, and from T, which means from here, the bearing of P is north 56 degrees to the east, and the bearing of R from T is south 60 degrees towards the east and the P is said to be true north true north of R which means these lines are parallel these are now parallel lines therefore since the northern pole the line is 180 degrees which means here yeah, it's 180 minus 60 minus 56 which is 64 but since these are parallel lines there is a parallel line to this there is a formation of an alternate angle or a set angle here 
which means this is 56 degrees. There's also a formation of a set angle here, since these are parallel, therefore this is 60 degrees. 60 degrees. That's how we use the concept of alternate angles in bearing.